that's a loud dance floor. I was just checking that, checking it for some reason right now. All right, let's head over. This is it right here. Rebroadcast it, rebroadcast E3 2019 Xbox Rooted. Since I sadly missed it, I'm gonna have to watch it pre recorded. So I'm gonna watch that pre recorded. Hey there. Yep, that's why Loot's just popped in. So, alright. Here I go. Where did, where did Plush Games go? Plush Game came in the chat and I said, hey, how's it going? Hi there. And I think he left. Yeah. I don't know. He just left. That sucks. Hard for me to remember who's who when I see him on stream. As I see so many people on stream, I can't remember their names. So, all right, here we go. We're going to watch this press conference again. I got to refresh this web page here. Hold on. Let me refresh. So, we're going to watch this press conference. This is it. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> now watch the next one. I, got, I wish I saw this live. I'm not watching it live. I'm watching it pre-recorded. Pre-recorded Microsoft press conference. Wish I saw it live like earlier today. So I'm watching a rebroadcast of it. No, I'm live. I'm live streaming as I'm live streaming my reaction as I watch the Microsoft press conference. That's what I'm doing. It's okay to do that. I was told that it's okay to do that. This is the Xbox E3 I can see. Here, here, here we go. I wish I saw this earlier today. But like I said, I had a power outage and I wasn't able to watch this live. So I'm watching it. I'm watching a free recording of this on their, you know, Mixer.com channel, Microsoft. So that's all the stuff they got there. Yep, Minecraft. Whoa, is it giant spider or whatever? Oh, there's happy, what's it, happy few. Back you. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> that looked like something from Left 4 Dead or something. The zombie walking in. Hey, hang on, Master Chief. Yep. Just showing all of those games. Uh oh. Hey. Who's hosting me? Thanks for the host. Is the oldest and most efficient structure history. Thanks for hosting, Prof. Scheduled scarcity is a like, what is this? Hey, Prof. The colony must never lose. Have you noticed in the Discord? I had a power outage. Hey, Dad. To the whole step gamer. Hey. We are to them. I'm trying to figure out what this is. Bumblebee. Another one? What the heck? A follow. Give me a break, people. I'm trying to watch this here. Hey, it's an follow. <laughs> Hold off a follow so well. That's funny. Thanks again, though. I had a power outage today, and I missed seeing this live. So now I'm trying to watch it. Oh, snap. What's that? Ouch. Hey. Hey there, Luna. Hey, how's it going, Luna Grig? Ow! Why don't you shoot the guy? What? pre today or play with Xbox Game Pass at lunch. Ooh. What the heck, man? Oh! That's shot. Uh, why are you gonna do that? You see Cyberpunk? Cyberpunk? This is Cyberpunk? I don't know what this is. Like I said, I missed the... I missed Microsoft's press conference because I had a power outage. My power didn't go back on until 7 o'clock p.m. Yeah, don't spoil. Don't spoil. I did, I'm finally seeing this. I wish I saw this earlier when they showed it live, but now I'm watching it. What the heck is this thing? What the outer world? This kind of reminds me of Halo. Or what's that? No Man's Sky. No Man's Sky and Halo. That's what this kind of reminds me of all of a sudden. Like what the heck am I watching? 
outer world now. He's huh. welcome from Ninja Theory, Ronnie Tucker, Ninja Theory. and Dom Matthews. No, Matthews. Hello. Wish I saw this one is live. I was afraid I was going to miss a lot of press conference because they they said in. How about the heck? Let's we listen to this. Ninja Theory joined Xbox Game Studios. Who's hosting? Ninja Theory. We have chair done. Thanks for the host. And in the near future, we'll be sharing details on all of these projects. I have to do something about my words. If I'm doing this, <laughs> it's all right. I'm fine with it. And we're happy to return to E3 They're my alerts. To share this with you. No, As I missed it. I couldn't see it. Here. To share I wasn't game able to see it because I had a power outage. Two of my gaming yeah, first time first watching it. I had a power and outage and that power didn't come back on until like 7 o'clock. I was able to watch the Bethesda and, and Devolver press conference. And tell us what you yeah, my first. So that's why I'm watching it again. Game. Watching I really, it pre recorded. I really hope you guys like Talk it. Talk to this cyberpunk. They show cyberpunk on this. I know. I think I saw in a tweet or something. This is now, yeah, this is right now. Yep, Ninja Theory. What the heck? I know there's uh, Borderlands 3. Is that what this is? I'll be honest with you, I didn't watch any Borderlands 3 like trailers. Why didn't I watch the trailers for Borderlands 3? This looks like Happy, happy Few Time or, or Borderlands 3 or something. Like, what the heck is this? What the heck? Looks weird. Whoa, what the heck is this game? This, 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 this is so weird. Ah! Oh, that looked hurt. Enslaved Devil Maid, what is this? Is this like a crossover? I love crossovers. It just said someone from the different game or something. I don't know what this is. Dude, the neck. Whee, look at that. Oh, ah, oh, that looks crazy. DNC Devil May Cry? What is this game? Tell how the characters look funny. What the heck? Yeah, I just missed the title of the game. Dang it. Wow, they look funny, weird looking. What was that called? Yeah, you watch all of these three with my stream. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. I did the same. I watched uh, some of yesterday, and I'm watching the, today's. You were sleeping all day, but it's all on YouTube. Oh, yeah, yeah. So it's my first time seeing the e Xbox press conference. I wish I saw this live. See, I had a power outage at around 1.15. What are the odds of a power outage happening at 1.15 p.m. during the afternoon and the power didn't go back on until seven o'clock p.m.? So I had power outage basically all day. So I missed the Microsoft press conference, and now I'm re-watching the, the rebroadcast of it. That's what this is. What in the world is that? Hey, it's this game. Looks like a sequel to it, right? Ah! Don't do them! Oh! Run! I still gotta play this game. I haven't been able to get around to playing it. Because on, on my YouTube channel, I've been busy editing and uploading so many videos. I, there's so many games I want to get to, but I haven't been able to get around to. Not kidding. I know what this is, but I forgot what it's called. I love the soundtrack to this music, to this game. What is that music? Let's turn this up a little. Did you hear? You could hear it okay, right? Was it loud enough? I just made it a little bit louder. Over me talking. Ori and the Will of the Wisp. That's a sequel. Oh, it's okay. This is a sequel to Ori and the Silent Something Forest. I still have to play the first game. I haven't been able to actually play this game. Like I said, busy editing too many videos and uploading them. So, I've, so many games I've been wanting to get to that I haven't been able to get to. Yeah, having a iteration on seasonal events, that's a hard YouTube iteration. Why do I do that? <laughs> Take the hard iteration for myself. I gotta change up how I make my videos. What in the world? Minecraft. They're just showing a bunch of different games today. Yeah. So good. What the heck? 
It's Minecraft, yeah. Minecraft story. Is that what this is? They're just showing us and just, just giving us a lot of suspense on wondering what these games are. Is this like a platformer for Minecraft? A Minecraft platformer? Look at that. Looks pretty cool. If you like Minecraft. I used to play Minecraft a lot. I haven't played in a while. I, I know I streamed it a few times, Minecraft. Ah! What the? Oh, revive your teammates. Yeah. Oh, you got like a team of, of people on your team. Look at that. Go through dungeons with your buddies. Wait, I think I saw something about this. It's also on the Switch. Yeah, this is on the Switch. I saw something about this earlier. I guess it. So, this is like called Louis Gas Minecraft Dungeons. Yep, it is. I saw something about this, but I didn't actually see the trailer for it yet. Now I know what this is. Huh, that was funny. Hey! And he goes away. Oh, that was funny. Hilarious. Uh, Minecraft Please Dungeons. The head cool. Of Xbox. Head of it. Spencer. Phil Spencer. Hello, Phil Spencer. Well, this is not live. It's the broadcast. <laughs> ah, funny. God, the audience is just. Yeah, <laughs> God, the audience is still going crazy. Thanks for that follow. You're welcome, you. Phil Spencer. You know if I'm watching a rebroadcast. We on Team Xbox Thanks for that follow. For this exact moment. Hey, guys. Jizz. Your name is Jizz. Thanks for following, Jizz. Here with <laughs> you in LA. Yep. And the moment you get to experience Listen, I saw this earlier. new stories, new worlds, and new heroes for the very first time. I could have been watching this at 3 o'clock p.m. That's when it started. About finding some the new, new games. power outage. It's about discovering your new game. This is the only press conference I missed this today. This decisive Thankfully. moment of discovery is etched in your gaming history. Huh. Alongside your every achievement, your every moment, you're every new friend. This huh. is why we on Team Xbox are always and will be dedicated to unleashing the next new games for you to discover huh. and love. Okay. So Great. whether you're one of the thousands with us here in Microsoft mm. Theater. We <laughs> broadcast. It's not live anymore. Or one of the <laughs> billions around the world who play games. Welcome to E3 2019. Mm. I like crossplay or cross platforming. This right now is the single most creative yeah, and energizing do that. time in gaming of time. history. Games and gamers together now have the sheer magnitude to be a significant unifying force for the world. I gotta be honest, even though the I missed this, universe of gaming has I saw a tweet a new era on Twitter of creative possibility. Something With about Nintendo games, and Microsoft. More creators and more industry I didn't really read or anything. But yeah. And gamers were everywhere. Mm -hmm. In under two decades, so I'm wondering the number of players this. in the world has more than tripled. Over two billion of us now play games in every region and on every continent. Mm. And with new technological leaps, we get to play whatever we want, with whomever we want, and mm. wherever we want. I like that idea. Yeah. Cross play. Cross play on Team Xbox, every decision is guided by our belief Thank that you, gaming wherever you is want. for everyone. Whatever you want. My team and I are single-minded in our resolve to bring everyone the games they want, to connect everyone to play with the friends they want, and yeah. to empower everyone to play that's, wherever they want. That's cross-play. Sounds like cross-play. As I know, I saw something about Nintendo Switch and Xbox this is why in a tweet. I was like, why did I see that? In this press conference, it was just starting. Through cross -play, and why, it's why we're investing with new distinctive creators. So I'm like wondering. Gaming is for you. 
This is why we scour the world for your next new game. I'm wondering, why is Nintendo this today doing something with Lego stuff? Largest showcase of off games the on any stage, anywhere this year. Still want to see Nintendo Direct. Of course, I will see that on Tuesday. Hopefully, I'll get another power from the Thousands of games in development across Xbox One and Windows PC. We're highlighting 60 games for you. Xbox and PC, Including Windows PC. 14 games from Xbox Game Studios and over 30 games premiering in Xbox Game Pass. Man, that cross, plus, cross platform right there. In addition cross to play. showcasing all of that. these games over the show, we'll also announce what's next at Xbox Game Studios. All right, what is next? Ooh, let's see. Sharing our expansive plans for streaming and, mm -hmm. of course, Revealing what? more about our next X new Cloud? console. Their new console. Because I know Nintendo so and Microsoft are working together with something. Let's jump in. So what are they up to? What is Nintendo and Microsoft doing together? Aren't they competitors? Why are they like working together or something? Ah, hey, it's this again. Oh, it's this Star Wars game. No, I saw a bit of this during e play. EA Play. EA Play Star Wars game. Something Jedi. I just never seen. I don't remember this trailer. Unless they already showed it. I just don't remember it. Hey! Who are you? Hey, who are you? Yeah, I think I saw this trailer already. Cal Kestis? So <laughs> Here on Jedi business. Ooh. Jedi. Yep. Not this. This looks familiar. Of course, I know what it is. I may have already seen this trailer. Yeah, they showed this at EA Play, didn't they? A Jedi, this November. Something, something Jedi or whatever. I can't remember the name of the, name of the game. Ooh. Oh. oh, there's no gore. Yeah, they'll get chopped up in half. Yeah, they still get hit by lightsaber. Weird. Jedi not yet lost. Ah! Ooh, there it is. Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. That's what it's called, right? I saw a bit of this during the okay. play. You right? Huh? No, we are not doing that again. Oh, what the heck? That's funny. Only I knew what the robot was saying. <laughs> don't know. That's funny. I remember that already. I've already seen that game. World premiere. World premiere. Ooh. Uh oh, what is this? Hello. Oh, snap. What is this? Oh, dang. Oh. I have a feeling I think I know what this is. I'm not quite sure what it is. Whoa! What just happened? What was that? What is this? Peter Shannon uh, died at one point when missing on Saturday. This afternoon, the authorities are organizing a search for the Hills Forest. Okay, so bullet. Something like Let's that. This kid. Oh no. Wait up, bullet! Bullet! Oh, what just happened? To him too? Oh man, what was that? Dude, whoa. Oh, this game. Oh, whoa, what the freak? What is this to horror game? Ah! What was that? Oh, this again? Stuck in a time loop or something? What? Is this out Outcast or something? Like Outcast 2? No. Outcast 2 already came out. This reminds me of Outcast. Okay, boy. Is this a sequel to Outcast? Don't tell me. Don't tell me. What is this? Don't tell me. I'll see. It'll, it'll show me what it is. Does it look reminds me of Outcast? Dude, that looks familiar. What, is this what I think it is? Nope, it's not. Whoa, Blair Witch. Okay. Why? For some, 
and that explains why it looks so familiar to me. It's the Blair Witch, like Blair Witch Project or something. I've seen things about, okay, all this glitching, that's cyberpunk, isn't it? They did the same thing at last year's, last, last year's E3 press conference. Something about cyberpunk hacking into something, and something goes with, wrong with the press conference because it's being hacked by cyberpunk. That's, that's all we saw about cyberpunk. I think I saw a few things, but I didn't see much. The I and this is the press conference. Like I saw a little bit of things and some tweets. Like what am I doing looking at Twitter? Stop looking at Twitter. And I'm this in the press conference. V my man. You made it. You blowing up all over the news. Are you alone? I just want this? the money. Yeah. You got the chip? I already think I know this is Cyberpunk. Alright, start her up. There's right. all the glitching going on and then they show this. Even if they didn't say it is. Oh, come on, man. Your neck. It's a mess. While Hotel Security has yet to comment, huh. we do know the fact that we're the scene. Dot What is up? He's a robot. Is he? What the heck? Is he an android or something? Initiating combat mode. Go! Destination confirmed. <laughs> yeah, auto drive cars. All right, in and out. Oh, we're rich. <laughs> Why? We're going to the major leagues. That was funny. What the heck? Dad didn't like this game trailer. Oh, Dad didn't like it. Ooh. Ouch. Get to a clinic now. Mr. Wells' condition is critical. Go! Immediate medical help. Oh. Okay, just, just hold on. Just... Ooh, ow. Hey, hey, just think about all the good that we're going to have. Not huh? doing good. Oh, sorry. Jeff Hewer didn't like it. Oh, what happened, man? Dude. That's a shame. Dev didn't like the trailer. Oh, that guy's hand was bleeding. It's a flashback, I see. I already know, without a doubt, I'm just guessing this is probably Cyberpunk because it seems like it to me. Even though I, don't, I haven't seen the name of it yet. I'm just assuming it's Cyberpunk. Because I haven't seen anything about Cyberpunk yet, but yeah. Oh, snap. So why did Dev not like this trailer? I guess I'll have to see. Every corporal cop in this city is gonna be blasting down these doors. Oh, what you and your yeah, Blair, Blair Witch. Blair Witch did look pretty cool. Tension, damn it. Jeez, man. <laughs> you censored their trailer. Good. Oh, come on. Ugh. Whoa. Dang, okay. They're all like androids, aren't they? It's like a future where everybody's an android. Oh snap. Oh, he's being hacked, isn't he? They're hacking him. Oh snap. Whoa, hello. Yeah, this looks like Cyberpunk. I knew it. I knew it was Cyberpunk. I just had a feeling this was Cyberpunk just straight from the beginning. Not because the trailer is bad, but because of his fear to this. Oh, oh, I understand. Yeah. What the? What the heck? That's Keanu Reeves! What the heck? Oh, they put him in Cyberpunk! Wow! Keanu Reeves- Hey, there he is! That's- that's him, isn't it? What the heck? Keanu Reeves. They put him in Cyberpunk! Wow! Whoa, what the heck? The guy from the- What's that? Yes, I know, like, The Matrix is one of them. What's that other movie I'm thinking of he was in? Wow. I'm, I like how they did that at the end of the trailer. Good to see you. Thank you. Speed. All right. Nice. I gotta talk to you about something. John Wick, yes, that's what it's called. John Wick. That's what I was thinking of. That's the movie I was thinking of. What's the heck? It's a girl screaming. 
that stream. Class 56. What? 27. Right. Class 56. A while back, the guys from CD Projekt Red approached John me Wick, and asked yeah. me to be a part of their new project. It's John Wick. Cyberpunk 2077. <laughs> Yeah, I've seen John Wick. I've seen those movies. John Wick, John Wick on 1, John Wick 2. Create this vast open chapter. world with a branching storyline. How you'd be able to customize your character through in-game choices. Sucks and that it's not they have cyborg, cybernetic or whatever. Yeah, Dad doesn't like cyborgs. Fascinating stories. That's a shame. Cyberpunk. Oh, that's why it's called cyberpunk, it's like cyborg, get it? Cyborg, cyberpunk. Modification has what there. An obsession. You play as an outlaw, an enhanced mercenary working in the sleazy underbelly of the city. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> that funny. Okay, but let uh. me tell you. The feeling of, of being there, of walking the streets of the future, is really going to be breathtaking. Huh. You're breathtaking. <laughs> You're breathtaking. <laughs> You're breathtaking. Oh, that's funny. That's hilarious. So in the audience right, right, is like, right. so, I got I gotta finish it, so tell me. Funny. Do you guys want to know um, in the when there's uh, when it, the release date? He was Neo in Matrix of John Wick. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Then check this out. Check this out. What's the screen? Observe. Still hacking. Oh, hey, easy. Oh, easy, easy. Am I right for the job? Okay, we'll pre-order now. Yeah, I don't, I don't blame the boomer. Too much of a screw in this. Cyberpunk. April 16th, 2020, next year. Uh, it does take a long time to develop a game. Developing games is hard. Any form of creativity is hard. World premiere. I would know that because I do a lot of different kinds of creativity myself. I, I do a bit of art myself. I've tried doing some animation. Animating is hard. Someday I'm gonna become a game developer myself. That's why I've been going to college to be to work on becoming a game developer myself. Even though I know Dev Gamer is a game developer. Yeah. Build. I'm just gonna go indie first before I bother with the company. Once I get my gaming degree myself. Follow! Who's in the follow? Charlie. Did I say that right? Charlie, thanks for the follow. Another one? Learn how to say goodbye. Oh, this is sad. Thanks for the follow, Charlie. Hey, follow. I can say. Oh, I see what that is. Sorry. Why? Wow, why do I not ever know what that is? You're posting emotes in the chat. That's what the grass thing is. See on Restream. Oh, Spirit Flare. Spirit Fairer. That's what this is called. So this all seemed like an interesting trailer. You're posting emotes in the chat. Chat. What the heck is this? Hello. Weird. Trailer after trailer, they're back. Who's back? Dude, hey. Oh, that's why for some reason the eyes look familiar to me. This old game. There's a sequel to it? Forgot what it's called though. Something Toads? For their biggest battle yet. Yeah, Battle Toads. They're back. Oh, play, three player co op? Because there's three toads. <laughs> beat them up. I like beat them up games. This was always known to be hard, wasn't it? God, it reminds me of Ninja Turtles. Kind of to me all the time I see it. Uh, these toads, yeah. 
a music. They remind me of Ninja Turtles for some reason. They just do. Ninja Turtles. Battletoads. They just do for it's weird. For some odd weird reason. They remind me of them. Where are you from? Where I'm from? What? No, I live in Texas. I'm from Texas. What? They were made as competition. Yeah, competition to the TNT back then. Oh, I don't know why I did not know that. No wonder. That that explains a lot. Yeah. See, I like I like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I do. I like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I like the Battle Toads. Yeah, there's a hard game, Battle Toads, if I remember correctly. What is this? Huh. <laughs> This game. What the heck? Weird. The, the, what? Oh! No, it's alright. That's nothing offensive. Lots of people, I'm sure lots of people wonder about that. It's called Treats or Collins Syndrome. It's something I was born with. I was born with this, you know. Deformed ears, my ears are deformed, so I can't hear through my ears. I wear bone conductive headphones. I can't hear through my ears. So I can't use regular headphones like everybody else in the world. So I was born with deformed ears. As you see, they're small and close deformed. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, no cheekbones, droop thighs. That's just the way I was born. It's a cranial facial. That's all it is. Just my face. Or that's what I was born with. No cheekbones, small chin. That's just the, some of the features that come with traits or Collins syndrome. That's what it is. It's basically a mutation, a genetic disorder. That's what I was born with. So I was born with this. Mm -hmm. What the heck is this game? Oh, these are multiple different games, aren't they? Yeah. All these are indie games. River Bond. music. As long as you're, yeah, right. I don't know how to so. It's just the way I look, that's all. I don't do it. What the heck? <laughs> what? That was weird. This music, funny. Oh, what was that? Night call. The last game looked like. I forgot what it was called. Totem Teller. It's a new launch with Xbox Game Pass. Whoa, weird. That looked like Enter the Dungeon Gungeon, or what it was called. Ah, he's on fire! <laughs> wow, that was funny. What the heck? Ah, too funny. Like, what the heck? Please Ooh. welcome Head of Xbox so, Partnerships, Sarah Bond. Sarah Bond. Hello. All the ID at Xbox games you just saw will premiere on Xbox Game Pass day one. Woo! Or today. Nice. And Xbox, our They're passion nice. is to help you find and play the games that you love through creation, I have curation, Xbox and Pass. discovery. The ultimate expression of that passion is Xbox Game Pass. Uh. My team travels the globe, seeking out fan favorites and hidden gems, and crafts hmm. partnerships with their creators so that you can discover your next favorite game. Mind-blowing experiences, epic adventures, huh. and iconic characters, all for you to explore. Ah. It has been awesome to see the record-breaking success developers have had in Xbox Game Pass, introducing their yeah. games to new players and creating lifelong fans. Is that Sea of Thieves? Since launch, we have tripled I think I saw the number of partners in, there. in Game Pass, <laughs> adding more games from more genres, platformers, RPG, adventure, sports, yeah. puzzles, and more every single mm -hmm. month. And of course, every Xbox Game Studios title you see today will mm -hmm. premiere in Game Pass day one. Game Pass. I know, I heard something like Game Pass being on Nintendo Switch or something. I heard we that was like a rumor. I don't know about now. Coming to Xbox Game Pass on What's console today, including something about that. Batman Arkham Knight. Woo! 
Metro, Metro. Exodus. Whoa, hello. <laughs> Hollow Knight. And Hollow Knight. Hey. The handsome collection. Hey, Hollow I already have that, actually. Amazing games that yeah. you can start playing today. Hmm. For free. Oh, we have good Xbox Game Pass. Our Only mission $10 at Xbox a month. is for you to be able to play course. any game with anyone, anywhere. Anywhere. And we know for many of you that means PC. We say anywhere. That is why. Oh, God. Last month, we what? announced Xbox Game Pass for PC. Right. Hasn't it always been on PC? Always been Today, on the computer? Yeah, the they Game said Pass last year. PC right? Begins. Mm hmm. Now, nice. PC players can Xbox discover their easy. next favorite game with Xbox Game and Pass. We nice. have curated over 100 games just for PC, including mm. favorites like Emperor Rome and Football Manager 2019. Oh, Xbox Game for PC is a. Oh, it's a separate thing, okay. No, and Xbox for the first time on PC, Surfing starting thing. with Halo Reach, the entire huh. Master Chief Collection. Hey, there it is, finally. I have that already. Woo! Well, we are thrilled to share I like Halo. I used to play that a lot. Launches in open beta Back then today. on the Xbox 360. Look at that. I know it's on Steam too, or something like that. Halo? Yeah, or something like that. The regular Game Pass is now called Xbox Game Pass for console. Oh, okay. Huh. Why they- that's so odd how they do that. How about that? Odd. That's unusual. Gear 3? Gear 3! Dude. Halo, Halo Reach? What the heck? That was Halo Master Chief and Halo Reach. Pray. Oh, that is the. Well, that that is the news. Yeah. God, ah, that is this press conference. The Evolver's press conference was just weird. What the heck, man? Are you Are you Xbox Game Pass console. Got it. Two separate Game Passes. Kind of weird how they would do that. Why two separate game passes? Hmm. Weird. So what? I have to buy it for a computer game and Xbox or something? Is here weird. Now. Try oh. it out by downloading the all-new Xbox app on Windows. I have the really Then have it. If you want it all, had it ever since. we have created a membership just Let's see, it changed for you. It. Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. Oh. What is that? You get everything. Xbox Game Pass for console with over 100 great games. Oh. Xbox Live Gold, an unrivaled gaming community. Oh. And now, Xbox Game Pass for PC at no additional charge. Nice. Fifteen dollars. That's not bad. That's nice. Dang. And I have to check that out. Because it's E3. Everyone can jump in and play today for one dollar. Oh, All right, that's now nice. Now go discover your next favorite game. Because I I have an Xbox One, Ooh, but I barely get, had the chance to get on it. That's why I like the whole crossplay thing. I can play my Xbox games on the computer, or vice versa. That's why I like crossplay from Microsoft. What is this? I have my satellite. Oh no, I think. Is this. Hey, it's for the follow. Ooh, chance. Sorry if I said that wrong. It's for the follow. Yeah, leak chance or something. Sorry if I mispronounced your name. Your alias. Uh, you and those emotes. What you could do before, though, is that if a game was play everywhere and it was on Game Pass, you could also play it on PC. Right. I could do that before. That's what I was always able to do. That's the crossplay. Yeah. Computer and console everywhere. 
How the hell it ultimate? Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. I'll have to check that thing out. Oh, right now I just had Xbox Game Pass for $10 or none. I don't know if I changed it to that now. Might as well, I guess. Since I have both computer and uh, Xbox One. Well, everyone has a computer, at least. So I have Nintendo, I have Nintendo platforms and the Xbox platform. That's what I have. I mostly have Nintendo and Xbox and some old PlayStation consoles, old Sony consoles. I used to have a bunch of Sega consoles back then, when I don't own them anymore. I wish I still had them. What is that? Do you remember a time Flight Sim Viper. When what? eyes were built and powerful cities collapsed. This is weird. When the smallest of choices yeah. echoed ah. through the pages of history, it was an age it's of empire. empire. Age of empire. Death with the winter sun. Whoa. What the heck? Yeah. Oh, man, you're. You're. Never mind. God, when I read something on screen, I can't believe I don't notice it's a. You're sending me sparks. Yeah, there's some sparks. Thanks for that photo! Let's hit that photo. Hold on one sec. What? Vault bot, right? Did I say that right? Thanks for the follow, Vault bot. Hope I didn't mispronounce your name. Razors? I see you hey. in a donkey's age. Welcome see to Colorado. Hold on. This is Sea of Foods. What the oh, heck? Rocky. What? I drew colorful Looks canyons. like Sea of Foods. What is this? No, it's not. Wild wild oh, wow. 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 Oh, Hello! So much to see and do in this post apocalyptic winter wonderland. Post apocalyptic winter wonderland. Make new friends. Colorado has colorful characters and friendly faces everywhere you look. Colorado. Colorado. Airport. And don't forget to pick yourself up a nifty souvenir. Souvenir. This guy talking. Don't be shy. Colorado's waiting for you. Hey, dude, you're drunk. <laughs> Go home. On uh, first round's on, on you. Uh, on me. Wasteland 3. What the heck, man? Uh, first round's on you. Whatever, man. That was weird. Xbox Game Studios. Thanks Matt for the follow, Cody. dude. Uh, why are you typing that in the chat? Games oh, are at the heart of our yeah. Industry. Over the last year, Dang, we added all those sparks. Yeah, I see it. I know. I saw it on the. I'm looking at my score plot. I can so tell what's a sticker and not when I see it on the score plot. On our E3 stage, Sometimes even when I come. see it in the restream chat, I, I realize what it is. With some of the best it's all good. Thanks, though. Around the globe. And for me, great studios are about people, teams, and ideas. Like, I can tell what I think about it as I read it. It's like, thing, oh, that's a sticker. You want to look at my score plot. And great games come from great developers. Mm. That's why I'm honored today to announce great developers. that joining like Xbox Gamer? Studios is <laughs> this is a great Double developer, Fine right? Productions. Hey. Uh, what the heck? Double Fines. Hey. Yeah, there's silent, there's what's that game called right Double there? I forgot what it was called. Of that game, Psychonauts. Game development for almost Psychonauts. 20 years with classic games like Psychonauts. Yeah. Brutal Legend. That's what I just said. Age. I'm looking forward to Double Fine Sweet. joining Xbox and seeing oh, this game what too. we create together. Right here. Please join me in welcoming <laughs> the founder and president of Double Fine Productions, Jack Tim Black Schaefer. was in that one. Jack Black's inside that game. The voice acting. Hello, hey, it's this guy. One of his Double Fine games was kickstarted on Kickstarter. 
when Double thank Fine so was, was, was on Kickstarter. We're so excited to be joining yeah. Xbox Game Studios. And I'm here to personally reassure Man. you, Matt. I don't know what you've heard, but I'm a team player. Yeah. Whatever you need from Double I'm Fine, we'll make player. for you. Uh, Halo Let's stuff. See. Uh, Forza stuff, All Excel stuff. stuff, whatever you want, we are there. Yeah. <laughs> hey. Yeah. <laughs> Tim, we just want you to make great games. Oh, that's such a relief. Uh -huh. Those be lying. <laughs> Stupid tick, excuse me. In that case, we brought a brand new trailer for Psychonauts 2. Take a look if you dare. Hey, yeah, I heard about that. They finally released a trailer in that game. Have they always had one? I can't remember if there's always been one or not. Well, this is a trailer just now. A sequel to Psychonauts? My <laughs> name is Raz. Yeah. And today is my first official day on the job. Psychonauts 2? That's what you just said. Rasputin? I'm on him. Looking for me. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Oh, God. Ah, so weird. The art style is neat though. Ah, look at that. Ooh, we go up. Ah. Me the mission is falling apart. We've lost control of Lobato. I put the old egg in the box in the basket in the basket. No, no, I won't tell you. I won't tell anyone. I promise. No. <laughs> Ugh. That guy looks pissed. Oh, snap. Psychonauts 2. Dang. What was that? That was weird. World premiere. Oh, yeah. I can't wait for Nintendo's, Nintendo's press conference. That's only on Tuesday, though. Why am I mentioning that? That was random. I don't know why I thought of Nintendo all of a sudden. That has nothing to do with this. Dude, we got Lego Star Wars again. More Lego Star Wars. Great. What just happened? Oh. Oh! Oh! oh. Yeah, he lost his hand. He's like, here, have my hand. That's funny. Lego's always funny. Oh, you chopped off his head. Oh! Yeah, all nine films. One new game. What? The Skywalker Saga. Star Wars, Lego Star Wars. <laughs> All three robots. Hey, that was so funny. Is that third one from the something, the, the Jedi Star Wars game that was from EA Play? That we saw, is that what that third one was? It's all three robots there, three droids. Whoa! Oh my gosh. <laughs> Ah, Japanese, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Dragon Ball. Ah. <laughs> 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 Whoa! Ah. 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 <laughs> that every time he does that. Oh yeah. Oh, I know what this is. I think I know what it is. And we got Super Saiyan. Yeah, so we got Super Saiyan for the first time. Ah, I know what this is already. I think. <laughs> Ow. Oh god. Weird. Oh, Project Z. Dragon Ball Game Project Z. Is that like the entire Dragon Kakarot? Dragon Ball Z Kakarot? Early 2020. Oh, it looks familiar. All that stuff was from the show. Like World moments premiere. that happened in the actual show. Like the Frieza saga. And the Orsane saga. And Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z. I've seen the show. Of course I've seen the show. I watch it from time to time. Uh, yeah. 12 minutes? What is this? Okay. Hmm. You wanna guess what it is? Hmm. This is an outfit for a newborn. Hmm. You bought it this morning. 
You wanted to surprise me. I'm sorry. You're pregnant. Huh? You know? I know because you already gave it to me. This has huh? happened before. What? What are you talking about? What's going on? Someone is coming. He's going to hurt us. He I says no you idea. killed your father. I need to know what happened. Why are you doing this? The heck? My father died. Died of a heart attack? No, I, 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 I didn't have anything to do with. Any second now, he's going to knock on that door. Help me. This isn't happening. This can't be happening. What the heck? Open up. That's it's a, a time loop. Call the police. We have a warrant. Please open the door. I didn't do anything. We're here to help. Don't listen to him. I'm your only chance. Open the door right now. You know me. I love you. You have to believe me. Stop. No. You're under arrest. No. Hey. <laughs> Oh man. What the heck? You're home. Well, it does what look like doing? Sims. Are you okay? <laughs> what the heck? So weird. Ow. What is it, stuck in a time loop? That's what I want to it's called 12 minutes. 12 minutes, an interactive thriller about a man trapped in a... It is a time loop! I thought that was a time loop. Wow, trapped in the time loop. That's insane. It's called 12 minutes. So you're stuck in a time loop for 12 minutes. Wow. You thought insane. You were insane. I would. Who would? You're stuck in a time loop. You can't find any way out of it. You know? What the heck? Oh. What are the reindeers doing on a train? Ah. That reminds me of a Pokemon. This little bit, this deer, for some odd reason, reminds me of a Pokemon. It's cute to me. Wasn't there a Pokemon that's like a deer? Can't really remember. God, Lou. It's like a little platformer. Oh, all that water. Seems very, yeah, Japanese inspired, I know, right? Way to the woods. Looks like an indie game. Yeah. That was that seemed pretty neat. Uh-oh. Hey! That's gears, isn't it? Looks like gears. Is this gears? Looks like gears to me. I don't know why, I just think it's gears for some reason. Cause I think I saw some things before already. Like if it was Gears of War. Yep, it's Gears of War. Cause I know that one character. Was it Marcus Phoenix or something? The guy's new. The music. Oh snap! Ugh. Okay. Whoa. Possessed. What the heck am I watching? I know it's gears, but what the heck? Where do we go? Where do we go? Here's uh, five. Bound by blood. Here's a war five. From the coalition, please welcome studio head Rod Ferguson. Ooh. Eyes, I've seen, seen the animation, the animation. Ah. Thanks everyone. We're excited to announce that Gears 5 is releasing on September 10th. Ah. 
All right. And if you want to play four days early, you can with our Ultimate Edition or hmm. membership in the newly announced Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. <laughs> with Gears of War 4, we wanted to earn your trust. But with Gears 5, we want to push the envelope by doing new things never seen in a Gears game before. And we'll tell you all about it this summer. In July, join us for our Versus Multiplayer Tech Test, where you'll be one of the first to play our all-new competitive game type, Arcade. Ooh. In August, at Gamescom, go hands-on with the all-new Horde mode and see how character abilities <laughs> can turn the tide on the battlefield. Horde mode. In September, yeah. we return to the biggest Gears campaign ever, where we'll explore what? more of Kate's harrowing journey and celebrate our launch on September 10th. Mm -hmm. But what are we September talking about 10th. today? Today, it's a brand new way to fight the swarm. In Escape, you play as one of three hive busters. You and your squad infiltrate the hive, plant the bomb, and escape with your life. Because we all know the best defense is a good offense. It's everything you love about Gears turned up to 11. Yeah. Turn soft. So. Oh, jeez. What the hell? What the heck? What the heck? We're... They attacked. We lost everything. Everything except the need for revenge. Huh. This might look like a surrender, but it's not. It's an invasion. Ugh. Ugh. Uh oh. 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 Ugh. Oh. Ah. Zeus. I hope you enjoyed your taste of escape, an aggressive three-player co-op experience, perfect for your living room couch. Uh, loose, yeah, loose, but it's not right just about busting hives. You can yeah, build loose. them too and challenge your friends loose. with the experiences you create. 
And tonight, join me on Mixer as we challenge these three WWE superstars, Xavier Woods, wow. AJ Styles, what the heck? and Tyler Breeze, <laughs> to survive a gameplay deep dive from right here in the hive. For these at home, for the next two days, you and your friends can play in select Microsoft stores. So good luck out running the swarm, and we'll see you on the leaderboards. Oh, and for anyone who pre-orders or plays within the first week, we've got something special just for you. Hmm. Uh oh. So that was underneath the stage. How weird. Uh oh. Whoa. What now? Here's five. Or play Gears 5 with Xbox Game Pass on September. What? I get to read all. What the heck? It's a Terminator. What the heck? It is a Terminator. What are you doing, Gears of War? Gears 5. A Terminator. I literally thought it was a Terminator before I saw the entire thing. Weird. I don't know. It just came to me. Is that a Terminator? Wow. Terminator in Gears 5. Hello. Elite. Now more in Elite than ever. Whoa. Dude. From the inside out. What the heck? Thumbstick. What the heck? That is weird. What? Weird. Customizer controller? Huh. So weird. Oh. Interesting. Huh. Still the gameplay? Hmm. 40 hours. Oh my gosh. Huh. Okay. Xbox Elite Wireless Controller. Hmm. Almost feel like that would pull off an unfair advantage to other game controllers for some reason. But then again, I don't, nah, I don't know. Weird. Just uh, when my father just saved my life. My head and told me never that. forget who I am, hmm. where I come from. No, no, why? Who would think that? But in this, this. Place, nobody even wants to know my name. Getting attached is dead. Dead by daylight or something? Oh, that's an already boosted game. I might be gone. I do have follow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a following. What the heck is this? Yeah. What's Staying that? alive became the essence of our Too glitchy. Too glitchy. Thanks for following. Survival. Yeah. Hmm. You and that emote. Oh. Every day the disease tries to crush us. And this us looks familiar. We are, but I keep fighting. Is that a sequel to another our existing game? Looks like it to me. My name is Aiden, and I am infected. Infected. Dying Light 2. Yeah, I thought it was Dying Light. Look at that. Dying Light 2. Yeah. Of a Discord. Oh. Sure, you can join that if you want. World premiere. Thanks. Thanks. I'll get to tell you. Oh, never mind. You know what I mean. Floors of horrors and floor. What? What the frick, man? I don't know what they're so sick. Whoa! 
This is so funny. Oh my god, I can literally do this. This is hilarious. Sorry, no I can't remember the lyrics. I only remember. Yeah, yeah Forza, I know, right? Hey, Legos and Forza. Oh. It's a I barely remember the words. Oh, that is hilarious. A crossover. Yeah, with Legos. Happy That's the only thing I remember from the lyrics. Everything's awesome. <laughs> the only thing I remember from the lyrics. Passion for design. Funny. With about half a million of Legos, oh, the legendary bricks, you get this incredible <laughs> life-size <laughs> Lego Speed Champions McLaren Senna. My God! Combine the beauty hell? and freedom of Horizon with the playful fun of Lego, Funny. you get the Forza Horizon 4 Lego Speed Champions expansion. You will drive this Senna and more Lego Speed Champions cars it's like a crossover in an entirely something. new world. That's hilarious! Like, what the hell? New areas to explore. Doesn't look like and a... loads of bricks to smash. Lego the Forza car. Horizon 4 Lego Speed Champions expansion launches this week. I'll yeah. see you there. I don't know. It just looks like a normal car. What the? Pops. Hey, here's five pops. Like Funko Pops or just pops? Oh? Oh, come on. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> oh, who's this? Yes. Oh, yeah, it's a real car with Lego stuck to it. Oh, I didn't notice that. Uh -huh. Ooh, what? Uh, what the heck? Is that a cat? Free kittens. Oh, oh kitten! Oh, the kitten is so cute! Uh oh. Yeah. Oh, uh, uh oh. What the crap? <laughs> that was funny. What the heck? Oh my gosh, that was funny. Ops. Look like happy, yeah, happy wars. Yeah, right? Gears pops. Gears pop. We are soon. I've seen pop. Like, there's Marvel's Rick and Morty pop. It's pops of a bunch of different fictional characters. State of Decay 2, Heartland. Hey. It's in happy wars. <laughs> That's funny. Elite flag. Oh, a la la the lag. Something you said there. But. Uh, oh. My mission. Find the father I never knew. My mission. Find a hero I've never met. I don't know how radioed that. in days. He hasn't been seen since the outbreak. The last time I heard his voice. The last place he was seen. Why is this. Was in Trumbull Valley. Why does this suddenly look familiar? No, why'd I say that? They already said what it was. I've only heard whispers. Never mind. I've only heard legend. Of unseen horrors. Ah, ooh, what the hell? Here, we are the many. Here, we <laughs> become stronger. <laughs> My mission built so Snoop long, I was just in smiling. and this work. Now people <laughs> are counting on me. This is where my story could end. Oh. Oh. This is where my story could begin. Oh, and a cannon I cannon blows up. Oh, how do I do that? We ain't seen nothing yet. Uh oh. Ooh. Ah. Ooh. New dangers. What biggest expansion yet? State of the King to Heart Rams. Oh, yeah. Available now.
Hello, available now. World premiere. <laughs> Woo! Oh, Sega! Oh, it's just what I think it is. It is, isn't it? For the, for the very last time. It just says Sega, I don't know what it is. Never mind. I know it's Sega. Japan's what? Only RPG? Launches in the West by FF1. What the? What the heck? This looks familiar for some reason to me. It says Sega and it's launching on Xbox. Online action content with crossplay. Woo! It's a Sega game. I play, used, to, used to play a lot of Sega games back when I had Sega consoles. Like, I used to have a Sega Dreamcast. I used to have, like, almost every single Sega console that was new. That's been new from every generation. That's what I meant. All the boxes and epic battles. If I remembered what this was, I'd know what it is. All free to play? Dang. All free to play! It's this. I think I know what this is. I don't know. Maybe I don't. The never ending quest awaits you. Awaits you. Phantom Star Online 2! Hey! Ah! Oh, I literally thought it was Phantasy Star Online. Wow, what the heck? Why Those did... of you who have played Fantasy Star know that this Why game think... has influenced many of the most popular games today. I literally thought so that that's great what this delight, was. We welcome Sega wow. back to our A stage sequel? and Fantasy, to Fantasy Star, Star back Online on Xbox. Now it's on Xbox. This was on Sega Dreamcast, wasn't it? I remember what it was originally said, on. Our goal on Team I Xbox remember. is to bring you the world's best game. I remember about the Meeting first with one. Developers playing their games and introducing you to their games. These are the best parts of my job. Mm. Back at E3 2017, when I first met with the creators of this next game, they shared their ambition to bring their massively popular game with its passionate oh. community of 650 million PC players to the entire world. Mm. I'm happy to announce our partnership with the legendary team at Smilegate. Their approach Smile, to game design Smile. demonstrates sheer creative boldness. Yep. Next year, you'll discover the newest entry in this landmark franchise. On console, for the very first time, only on Xbox. This is Crossfire X. Ooh. World premiere. World, world premiere. <laughs> world premiere. For some reason, I always get a feeling I'm gonna see like Halo or something pop up on screen. I don't know if it's Halo yet. Because it's Microsoft, you know? Smile good. Yeah, it says Smile good earlier. What? The series debuted in 1987 on the Master System? Yeah, Sega Master System, right? It said Master System. Sega Master System. There was a Sega console. Called Sega Master System, if I remember correctly. And then Sega Genesis, which I did have. Yeah, Sega, of course. I had just about every past Sega console from past generations. I used to own all past generation consoles. I just don't have them anymore. It's like, what the heck? Why, why did it, I no longer have them anymore? It's like, my own mother gave away to Goodwill or something. It's like, why'd you do that? I, I collect video games. I would have still had my old Sega consoles. I still did, but I don't have them anymore. Yeah, sucks. Mm hmm. Oh, okay. Whoa. Look at that, dude. Don't drown. Whoa. Looks like he's gonna shoot something. Oh, 
Crossfire. Xbox Game Pass. Only on Xbox 2020. World premiere. World premiere. Dog sparking. And then it's cold. Uh, and then it's cold. Everything we knew is true. What's this? Hmm, was a lie. Was a lie. I was too busy. Was a lie. Oh no. Oh, another Final Fantasy game. Is that what this is? I don't know. It reminds me of Final Fantasy. What? Who pulls the sword out of someone's chest? Why would you do that? That was weird. Ooh, look at that. Fast taste action there. Oh, God. Yep. Rise up! <laughs> ah! Rise up! What the heck? Dude. What a nice trailer. Tales of Azra. I don't know why I thought that was like. Why would it be fun? That thing in the background. That looks like, uh, Kingdom Hearts or something for some reason. No, it's not. I don't know why I said that. Come on. That's like Sony, Kingdom Hearts and Sony. I don't know why I was thinking Final Fantasy when I saw that. It reminds me of Final Fantasy for some reason. Even though I've never really played a Final Fantasy game. Not there really. Six sirens in the universe. I used to be one of them. My name I already know what this is. is. And I need you. You need me. Borderlands 3. I already know, because I recognize that character right off the bat. Ow. Oh. I didn't see any. Woo. Yeah, he just plays a mech. Loads the gun gunner. What the hey? Flack. 4. Zane Slayer. God, I can't read all that. Those fights so fast. Oh, God. Enter the siren. Shoot. Loot. Uh. Sloot. Sloot. Oh, God. What the? <laughs> no! No! Ooh. Oh, God. Demand we join or die. Uh oh. We've got another proposal for ah. them. Oh, what's the freak, man? <laughs> wow, she does it on screen. Oh. oh, it's just a decoy. Hello, decoy. The four last three. Music. Ah, six hour person. Far Lance 3. Man, it's coming. It's a little sweet. That's the first. I'll be honest with you, that's the first. What? Far Lance. Available today. That's nice. But wait, again, there's even more. Hey, Far Lance 2 Adventure. What? What? I'm confused. What the heck? Don't die so fast. Couldn't read all that. What in the world? <laughs> that's world the first. Premiere. That's the first Borderlands 3 trailer I've seen. I haven't seen any of the other ones they've already shown. I know. What's wrong with me? Because I haven't seen it yet. Why have I not watched them yet? First Borderlands, first Borderlands trailer? It was like a teaser trailer or something, I think. That's the only Borderlands trailer I've seen. I've seen stuff on Borderlands, but I didn't watch the trailers for some reason. I just don't know why. Adetaku Nihansaku. 
and George R. R. Martin. New created pie. Uh oh. What the heck? I doubt you could even imagine it. What the heck? Commanded the stars. The R reminds me of Phantom Pain. Yeah, Phantom Pain. Like Phantom Gear. The R for some odd reason. It's just this, I don't know why. What? Look up at the sky. It burns. Ah, oh, my eyes are burned. Ah, oh, I'm blind. No. He said it burns. Looking up in the sky. What, man? Dude. Yeah, Sega. Sega! Those old Sega commercials. Like, Sega! Elder Elden Ring. Woo. Sega. Yeah, remember those old Sega ads? You're like Sega. Sega. Old Bandai Namco Entertainment developed by Front Software produced. <laughs> yeah, those old ads. You remember them? The old Sega, the old Sega ads. They're like Sega. Bill Spencer. Sega. <laughs> the way they say it, like Sega. From multinational studios. And they can see Sonic run from project. back and forth, and the Thousands Sega logo appears. Games are in That's in the Sega games. Right now. On the Sega Just console. Just today, we showed you 60 games. We are now experiencing an unmatched expansion of creativity on Xbox. Mm -hmm. Gaming for you means connecting all of these creators to all of you. Last fall, we announced our ambition to mm -hmm. empower everyone everywhere to play. By Xbox to the cloud. We will do this cloud. in two ways. Through Project X Cloud and through console streaming. Two Ooh. months ago, we connected all Xbox developers to Project X Cloud. Man, Today, Jeez. we invite those of you here at E3 for our huh. first public hands-on of Project X Cloud. <laughs> to experience the freedom to play right here at the show. That's and cool. you'll have two ways to stream. There's a new platform feature, console streaming. It turns your Xbox One into your own personal and free xCloud server. Ooh, console streaming. Whether you're using a console in our data center or your console at home, this October, you'll be able to use our hybrid gaming cloud to play your games wherever you go. Woo. That's nice. Where you play is now entirely your choice. It's like Steam you almost. So let's talk about our next console. You turn it into like the next Steam or something. What the heck? It almost seems like they're turning us, into the next Steam the or whatever. The console is vital and wow. central to our experience. They're, they're doing what Steam has already done. A console should be designed and built and optimized for one Feels thing like it when I think and about one it. thing only. Gaming. Yep, gaming. Specifically gaming. So the same team that created the world's most powerful console, Xbox One X, and innovated its groundbreaking processor and the Elite Controller. The same team that engineered the class compatibility of today's Xbox One consoles. The same team that set the bar for live gaming services with Xbox Live this same team set out on a new mission to create the future of gaming for you. Hmm. You try to compete with Google. When we think about the future of gaming, 
It's not just PC. It's not just console. Because Google and their mobile. console thing. It's really all of the above. Xbox is all about choice. We're That's what it seems like to me. Technology mm. All throughout the game stack. The games you want with the people you want on the devices that you want. Google and, and Google us, That starts with our next generation console. That's what this feels like they're trying to do. Just another console. We truly want it to be transformative. More what? immersion, more exploration, more detail. How do we make it easier for people to get into the game, to stay in the game? One of the things that gamers and developers yeah. are incredibly excited about is reducing load times. I'm an uh, RPG gamer, and so like loading screens are a thing. You're sitting there in the huh. fake elevator because you know that the game's loading in the background. It's just an elevator ride forever. That's our goal huh. with gaming, is that you don't have those pauses. This generation yeah. is going to be a bigger leap than any generation we've done before. Is this the next this is the next Xbox the console, isn't next it? Generation console is our custom design oh. processor, leveraging the latest Zen 2 and Navi technology from our partners at AMD. Yeah. From a pure processing perspective, this is four times more powerful than the Xbox One X. We're leveraging high bandwidth oh. GDDR6 to ensure that we're getting the best performance possible. It's going to usher in yeah. resolution and frame rates that we've okay. never seen before. Like, never seen before. We're looking at frame rates up to 120 frames per second. Huh. 8K capability, variable refresh rate. Next gen ray tracing. It's real time because it's hardware accelerated for the first time ever. What I'm personally huh. most excited about is the SSD. Oh, geez. We've created a new generation of SSDs. We're actually using the SSD as virtual RAM. We're seeing more than 40 times performance increases over the current generation. The combination of the SOC and the solid state drive are really what gives you a totally trial. new experience. Now we can take all of that power and apply it back into the scene. So we can actually generate more life in that world and bring it to the gamer in a seamless way. So that then you're fully experiencing what the game developer wants you to experience. When you can move through worlds without waiting for screens to low, that speed, that performance is what the next generation is about. Oof. This is the most yeah. immersive console experience ever. <laughs> what we really want to do is give developers the power to build the game they've always envisioned. What? We have hundreds of people across both our first-party studios as well as our third-party studios Why you working that? on those next-generation experiences huh. today. It's an amazing commitment to content at Xbox Game Studios. There's 13 studios, seven in the last year. That's a big family. At 343, for us, it's always about more seamless worlds Halo. with the next generation. We can bring the world to life in a way we've never experienced Halo before. We're delivering four generations of content better than huh. you've ever seen them before. This console is especially Let's awesome for Game Pass members. With the faster oh. load times, you're going to be able to experience all the games within just the snap of your fingers. We're giving gamers the option to connect across devices and across platforms in a way that we never were able to before. This isn't just a console launch. This is about the future of gaming. Your games, your achievements, your progression, your accessories. It's like your Steam has already been kind of doing Xbox, this. It all well, comes forward. Not like Scarlet. this, but Steam already has a cloud thing. A Steam cloud or whatever. Project Scarlet. Holiday 2020. It monsters for breakfast. Ah. Monsters for breakfast. Their next game this console is Project Scarlet, the most powerful and highest performing console we've ever designed. Mm. Built for creators to unleash their boldest creative visions mm. and optimized for players to enjoy the ultimate gaming experience on a console anywhere. Mm. Immersive experiences begin at the very heart of the console, at the silicon level itself. Together with our partners at AMD, we have co-engineered and custom designed a state-of-the-art processor for Project Scarlet. Oh. Power you could see defined previous generations. Power and performance you can see and feel defines Project Scarlet. Oh. When we talk about freedom to play, when we talk about Xbox in the cloud, when we talk about streaming your games, Project Scarlet and all of its power and all of its performance is the foundation of our future in console and the formation of our future in cloud. Mm. We launched Xbox 18 years ago with a game reviewers called the definitive reason to own an Xbox. 
Yeah. Well, because humanity was and is worth saving, next holiday, we will launch Project Scarlet with Halo. Halo. Halo Infinite, am I right? What is this? It's Halo? What the heck? Weird. Whoa. Hmm. What the heck? Ooh. Ow. What the heck? Daddy's listening. Can you oh. say hi? Hi. And how big are you? I'm baby. Can you tell daddy how big you are? Are you so big? So big. <laughs> and can you sing? Mm. Singing. How about I miss you? Miss you. And I love you. I love you. I love you, Daddy. I love you, Daddy. And I can't wait to see you. Can you say see you? See you. Good okay, and bye bye. Bye bye. Hmm. Hmm. What was that? What the heck? Yeah. This seems sad. Uh, like what the heck? What the heck? This is UNSC Pelican Echo 216. Can you hear me? Remind me of the move the moon. The move? Dude! <laughs> what the heck? Master 2. Dude, what the heck? The movie moon? Really? It's, just, it's cheap. So this is Halo. I was like, what the heck, Master Chief? <laughs> hey, it's Master Chief. Looks like the main power cells are fried. I'll oh, yeah. shut down. Triggering survival mode. He's like frozen in space or something. I'm going to try to override. It's still floating okay. there. If you can hear me in there, I hope you're ready. Please don't die. Please. Hey! Yes! It's over yes! his shield. Yes! We're going home! <laughs> oh, welcome back, Chief. Hi. I rerouted what little power I had into your suit. Hmm. Looks like there's a problem with the servos in your hands. Stay calm. You've been out there a while. I know I saw hmm. something in here to check your armor's diagnosis. Uh -oh. What is going on? Hello. Whoa, 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 easy there, big guy. You're not. Status report. Status report? What? Huh? There's something you need to see, Chief. What happened? It's like status report. I'll be honest, I haven't played the campaign in Halo 5 yet, or Halo 4. I haven't played Halo since, like, we lost. Halo 3. Lost what? everything. Oh. Dude. I'm 
Team Four here is. Hey there. Uh oh. Whoa. How's it going? Hey there, Blair Raccoon. Excellent follow! What the heck just happened? Zeus, that was Halo? Infinite. Thanks for following, Blair Raccoon 726. Thanks for following. Hmm. Hmm. I knew we would be perfect together. And I was right. Hmm. That was Halo Infinite. It's a nice trailer. What the heck is going on here? Thanks for the follow! Uh, what's that? Dude, Jiris Dan. Danis, thanks for following. Uh, see ya, dudes. Look some follows, I guess. Yeah. Was that dead Jerus Darius? That's that's it right yeah, dude. Thanks for following. Ha, <laughs> music. Yep, Dragon Ball. Ah, lost my arm. What the? Oh. <laughs> Love that with this face. There's a kitten! Ah, see what these is. God dang, that's weird. That thing. Discover. Fire it up, up. Do next. Fire it up, up. There's a goon. It's done. Look at all those goons. <laughs> Halo Infinite! The last one we in Halo Infinite. That was a nice press conference. Hmm? No, I'm sure what you're talking about. I looks. Hmm? Okay. Hmm. I was born this way. Hmm. It's called Treats are called Syndrome. It's a genetic disorder. That's what it is. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, so that was the press conference. Finally saw it. After I missed it earlier, so now I just finally saw it. Alright, I thought that was pretty good. What I like most about it? Hmm, oh, hold on. Excuse me, no serious. My phone went off. What I like about the press conference? What caught my attention? Yeah. Hard to say, to be honest. Hmm. I'm not really sure, to be honest. Or I can't really remember, because there are so many games there. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, like, I don't know what else to say about it, but yeah. Seems like a nice, a nice co press conference. Too much. So that's it. That's all the press conferences for today. Weird. I heard something about Nintendo and Xbox or something on Twitter. I was like, what the heck? It was post from Nintendo actually. Age of Empire 2. You are? That's nice. That's all for today. Yep, I know, that's all for today. 
Cause I saw Bethesda and Act 2. Yeah. I saw Bethesda and Devolver. It's just the Xbox I didn't see, but now since I saw Xbox, that's it. Yep. I saw all the press conferences for today. Now I can end the stream. <laughs> well, yeah. I was streaming for three hours. Less amount of hours than I did earlier, like yesterday. <laughs> yeah, I was streaming like eight hours yesterday because of this. The uh, tournaments and the game play and all that. The game crest. Huh. You like the game crest. Look. If there's anything with MS and Nintendo, it's probably being held back until... Yeah, Nintendo Direct. I hear ya. It's a cardboard game. Oh, is that what that was? Crust. Isn't that that indie game? There's a lot of games, I'll tell ya. I, I, see, I'll be honest with you, but I'm not very good with preferences. I don't really t tend to have a preference. I don't know. Or I guess I could say I, don't, I never really have a true preference. I guess that's one way of putting it. I like to mix things up and adapt. That's just what I like to do. Like, I don't know, that's how it is with me. My teeth. What the heck? Okay. That's weird. What kind of response is that? But, okay. Thanks. <laughs> ah. I don't know what to say about that. Alright. Yeah. Weird. What? What did I think of Xbox thing? You mean the new Xbox? You're talking about the press conference? You said, what do you, what did you think of the Xbox thing? What Xbox thing? The whole thing. The whole press conference. To be honest, I thought it was pretty decent. It was a nice press conference. Yeah. And I, I kind of like how Microsoft does their press conference when they show trailers of their games. They don't talk as much as the other press conferences, you know what I mean? Not that there's anything wrong with the fact that other press conferences talk about their games and such, you know? Yeah, it was nice what they did this year. I know, right? Yeah. I don't know, I'm, I'm a pretty easygoing person. I'm not picky or... That's just how it is with me. When I find that I hear a lot of people are complaining about something, I'm always often like, yeah, it was all right. That was good. That's how I am a lot of times with things. I don't really easily have a preference with things. I don't tend to prefer one thing over the other. I just don't feel that way towards most things. Or I just don't like having a preference, I guess. I like to adapt or mix things up. That's how I am. Or, I guess you could say I just don't have a true preference. Whatever my preference is now is different later, or, or five seconds later, or five minutes later. I just like to be diverse and versatile, you know? I guess that's one of the reasons why I've always been kind of like a jack of trades or something like that. Because I just like, I like to have new experiences and things like that every now and then. So I always like to be, like, adventurous. That's how I am. That's what I like, and that. That's basically what my likes and dislikes. Is this starting up again? Yep, they're starting it up again. <laughs> it, re it, re re it repeats itself, this thing. I've already seen it, I don't need to play it again. So yeah, that was pretty cool. I like that first conference. Devolver's was just weird. You know what I mean? Devolver's first conference? Like, what the heck, Devolver? Yeah, see, Devolver's first conference is like... What the heck? They literally in the, the the stream, in the middle of it. What the? Oh yeah, the chat moves off the side right there. They in the stream, 